Hello, and, and talking of thunder, there is just a chance of some thunderstorms um, today. Um, we have showers brewing, and in fact, the uh, risk of showers uh, is with us for the next few days. But I think the, the broad message is it's actually going to be turning quite a bit warmer by Good Friday. Temperatures are expected to reach 22 degrees in the southeast. If we get that, that will be so far the warmest spell of weather we will have had um, this year. We've got up to about 21 or so um, in, uh, in March. Hello, good afternoon to you. A bit of a mixed picture out there. We do have quite a bit of cloud again now, having started with some this morning. Then we saw some sunshine, uh, but cloud is the way of it. However, it is warm. And here for the next few days, you see the oranges stay with us. We particularly in our parts of the UK keep the oranges right the way through most of the bank holiday weekend. Now, the bank holiday weekend is on the way and Sally says it's going to be lovely and warm. Don't lovely you, Sally? It is lovely and warm as well. <laughs> I thought you were going to say hot for a minute. I was like, no, don't say hot because it's not we're on the hot. way. We're going to disappoint people. It will be nice and warm. Nice for a game of football. Bet you were inspired by Bendit like Beckham, weren't you? Back in the day. You know me, my love for football. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, look at these temperatures, Duncan. I've got a lovely slide here. Let's Take see. it away. Now, these are our temperatures over the next few days. So we're probably going to peak on Friday. And Saturday will be quite nice and warm in the west. It might be a bit colder in the east. And it's going to get a little bit chillier in, on Monday. But look at the average. This time of year in London is about 15 degrees. I love that degrees. orange hue on your graphic. That means it's a good time, yeah? Yeah, exactly. And some Easter eggs too. Happy <laughs> days. Right, let's take a look. Here's the forecast. Well, someone is jumping on the cute bandwagon after the bunny and chicks yesterday. We've got a mouse today. Not very eastery, but who cares? It's adorable. Right, tomorrow, a bit of a cloudy old start, but don't get too down because we are, we are going to have a nice warm day and some sunny spells heading our way as we get through into the afternoon. It's nice and settled, really, for the next few days. That is the story. We might see a few showers on Monday, but that's a good few days off. We'll keep you posted. A couple of other things to add that with these sunny spells, the UV levels are creeping up. So watch that if you're out in any sunshine for a decent amount of time and also that tree pollen I'm afraid is high at the moment sorry about that so good Friday looking like a fairly similar story there might be, again be some mist and low cloud in the morning but it'll be more localized the outside chance of a shower on Friday but otherwise a pleasant day and then as we head into Saturday we might get a bit of a temperature change to the east of Greater London it might be about five degrees cooler Sunday's looking perhaps a bit cloudier but staying quite pleasant into Monday slightly breaking down a bit but like I said it's a few days off and we'll keep you posted that's it for now Thanks very much, Rita. Good afternoon to you. It's not been a, a bad day today for many of us. A much better day, in fact, across the north of the UK compared to yesterday. And the run-up to, Chris, uh, to Christmas, to Easter, looks like it's going to stay pretty warm with some sunshine around, but there will be increasing chance of rain through the Easter weekend. They're tougher than what people think, and if you put them in a sheltered area like this, they're wonderful. And this is Fountain Court. You might have seen it on screen. Olivia Colman shrieked down from one of the windows in the Oscar-winning film The Favourite. And if you're watching the second series of Bridgerton, well, last year's tulips appear in one scene. These beautiful, beautiful bulbs were planted in October last year. And it's not just here. The tulips are in full bloom. There are plenty to see for free across London. We spotted some lovely ones this week and have popped them up on our Facebook and Instagram pages for your enjoyment. So do join in and let us know where you've seen some terrific tulips. Wendy Hurrell, BBC London at Hampton Court Palace. Yeah, do get in touch. Tulips in bloom, which takes us nicely to the weather. Uh, so, Stav, uh, what's the latest on the Easter weekend? It's looking pretty good, actually, Riz, for our region. Certainly, it looks like it's going to stay dry throughout. Good, uh, good evening to you. Uh, yes, it's been a lovely day today. Temperatures reached 20 degrees in the warmest spots. And the run-up to Easter looks like it's going to stay mainly fine and largely dry. Most of the rain will be towards the north and the west of our patch. Welcome back. Easter weekend is just around the corner and the good news is that temperatures are set to rise across much of the country. But there is a catch. Talk of a hay fever bomb from high pollen levels. Well, Alex is here and Alex, things finally starting to warm up. Yeah, I think hay fever bomb <laughs> is slightly dramatic, but pollen levels are rising and we're going to take a look at them in just a second. But yeah, as you mentioned, the weather is looking fairly decent for this uh, Easter weekend, but it is tree pollen which is affecting many of us at the moment. And here are some trees that are flowering. This was actually at uh, Castle Eden Dean a little earlier today. Fairly pleasant pictures here, but obviously with the 
trees start into pollen, it is going to be affecting those of us that suffer from tree pollen in particular. I don't think this robin was actually too bothered by it at all, though. Uh, let's take a look at the pollen forecast. Well, I can tell you that today it has been high across much of England and Wales, low in the north. And you can see it's a very similar picture as we head into tomorrow. So if you are in these areas, particularly in the south, uh, do bear in mind that it is going to be on the high side out there. And that will continue to be the case as we head through the next few days because the weather is looking up. As for the temperatures, they're also rising as well. If we take a look at what we're expecting as we head through the next few days, we well, can see that on Good Friday is where we're expecting that peak in the temperature up to around 22, maybe 23 degrees Celsius, which is pretty respectable and also above average for the time of year. You can see at this time of year, we should be uh, seeing daytime highs anywhere between kind of uh, 11 to maybe 15 degrees Celsius. So as I say, above average for the time of year. And the good news is it is going to be looking fairly dry for many of us. Also, Alex, Alex, warmer temperatures, but also the effects of that pollen. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, you paid the price really yeah. for that settled weather, unfortunately, if you suffer from hay fever. And I do. Alex, thank you. <laughs>